Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, it's your girl, Naturally Nappy. And if you're old here, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I, I really do appreciate you guys tuning in again. So today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. It'll be a little chit chat, a little chit chat with Nappy. Chit chat with Nappy. I like that. So I would like to discuss some of the things that have been asked of me multiple times. And I haven't forgotten you guys. I haven't forgotten you guys. I definitely haven't. It was just, you know, I wanted to be able to articulate it properly and have enough information about it. So a lot of people have asked, you know, I always mention it. Well, I have mentioned in a few of my videos that I, I ran into some stumps in my hair growth. And it, everyone has asked, like, hey, you know, what, what were they? So today this video, this is what it'll be about. Um, I will start off with the stumps first, and then I'll talk about some of the benefits that you can do to increase hair growth or, you know, better the chances of hair growth. So one of the stumps is, to me personally, was used in jail. I was in the military and, you know, we always had to wear a ponytail and being nappy, I had to use gel and brushes all the time, so hard brushes and gels. That was my downfall. Gel, I felt like more of it was just an overuse of it. It had to be slick, because I mean, I wasn't going outside looking like a bum. So, you know, I used plenty of it, gelled it down, hard brushes to get it laid, and that caused a lot of breakage. So, I'm not saying take gel out of your regimen or what you use on a daily basis but I would be cautious of it and make sure you wash it out more often than I did because I would use it on like Sunday I would wash my hair I would use it on Sunday gel my hair down tie it down and that would be my hairstyle for until Friday I felt like that personally broke off a lot of my hair so if you are using gel just make sure that you wash it out properly or just don't overuse it uh, the second one was overwashing. Um, I know people who have done it. Um, people in my family, wink, wink, you know who I'm talking to. But I know people who wash their hair a lot throughout the week or maybe twice a week. Overwashing can remove the mineral, not the minerals, but the moisturization in your hair that your hair needs. Also, um, not, have a, not having a regimen can be your downfall not knowing what your hair needs or what your hair wants to make it last or be moisturized or grow. I know when I originally cut my hair, I try to stick to certain products or, but I try to stick to them. However, I like, you know, tried others like, well, maybe this will work, maybe this will work. Not sticking to what my hair needs or what my hair likes can also cause breakage. Your hair can be, just imagine, trying to be on a diet, and then going back and forth. Eating cakes, eating salad, eating cakes. Your body's just not, you know, it's not uh, getting in a routine. Your hair is the same way. So if you're swapping between one brand to another brand, your hair doesn't know which one to adapt to. So definitely not having a regimen can cause your hair not to grow. Um, over manipulation as well. If you're always, you know, pulling it in a ponytail, pulling it in braids, pulling it this way, pulling it that way, your hair is consistently just being tugged in different directions. It's going to tug out your head. That's, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, you know, over manipulation can definitely cause breakage in your hair, and you should take that into consideration. And lastly, uh, me personally, again, ponytail holders definitely played a major part. I was pulling it to the tight, making sure it was related to the gods and I definitely believe that you know pulling it so much again which is still under the category of over, over manipulation that caused breakage in my hair so I would definitely consider those five tips that I said and take them into consideration when you are thinking, well maybe I should change some things up about my hair some of the things that I help I think can help grow your hair is moisturization so, you know, I can always <laughs> revert back to previous videos where I say I love my yell. I love my yell because all their products have moisture in them. There's some type of oil in it, some type of sealant in it, and I love it. My hair loves it. My hair will bounce back at any given moment if I use their products, and that's what I love. 
Secondly, clarifying. Clarifying isn't as, it is important, but it isn't something that you would do weekly. That is something that you would do, well, I know my hair now, so I know like, well, I can feel when my hair has been over moisturized or, okay, I've had enough for the month. I can now use my Aztec clay mixed with apple cider vinegar, clean it all out, and start all over for the next month. So if that's something that works for you, definitely consider it. Thirdly, it's trimming your ends. And you see in my last video that, well, I cut my own ends. I trim my own ends, so it's different from going to the shop. But if you trim, if you can trim your own ends, you know, pull it out, look at it, and you can see where your hair begins to thin out. Or if you go to a shop, find your best beautician and she'll, she, he or she can cut your ends and keep your hair from dying out because you know, of course, the ends of your hair is your oldest hair. Or I say protecting your hair. So as you saw in my previous video, that I wear a lot of two-strand twists or I wear braids. That is a perfect protective style for your hair. But Wearing weaving your hair is not just your only protectant. Your own hair is your own protectant. You can put your, your own hair in braid or in two strand twists or whatever the case may be where it's not too much strain on your hair where you're constantly tugging on it or changing it to you know meet your everyday needs. If you put it in the style and let it ride for the week or every, for two weeks, that's even better. That's great on your hair because your hair is like, you know what? She ain't worried about me, so I'm gonna do me. Which le leads to my fifth tip. Let your hair live its best life. And I always say that. I say that more than anything in regards to hair. Let your hair live its best life. If your hair doesn't want to be bothered with, you put it in one style and let it go. That's it. Oh, you don't want to be done? You don't, you don't want to be touched? No worries. I got something for you. I'm going to put you in two strands with good moisturization on it. And I'm going to let you ride. Because less manipulation to your hair will allow your hair to flourish as long as you moisturize it. Can't forget that. Um, massaging your hair as well. You know, you don't have to constantly, you know, I gotta do this, I do that, I do that. You know, rubbing on it slowly. Just making sure, like, I mean, it's more like, you know, I wanna feel my scalp feels like, you know. I wanna see if there is some growth in it because you can more than likely feel um, the crinkles of your new growth. You know, I actually want to touch on my hair, see if he's still there, you know, make sure he's still alive, you know. It don't have to be something, you know, routine, routinely, but definitely, you know, get in there every once in a while. Don't, don't mind my edges. And my all-time favorite is deep conditioning. Deep conditioning is extremely important. I use the Mayo deep conditioner, and I can say for a thousand and... 1,001% that every time I use it, my hair loves it. My hair's like, thank you. We need that. I mean, I don't do it as often. I do it maybe like every two weeks because, you know, I don't do my hair as much. And you'll realize that as your hair begins to grow more and more or uh, you see more length in your hair, certain things you don't have to do as often. When I originally went natural, I was washing my hair every week, changing the style every week, trying to keep my hair flowing, if that makes sense. You know, keeping it going, you know. It wasn't always here and, you know, stuck there. Not sure what to do next. I'm going to keep it going. But as my hair grew more, longer, I began to slow down with trying to, you know, try new things with my hair. I, at that point, was like, okay, you know, I can two strand my twist, let it, live, let it live, you know. I can put it in a ponytail with two strands, twist still in it. I can still wear it down. I can pin it back. And I can still go. And <laughs> oils. I always say that, you know, I, every style I use, I make sure that I mention that I use an oil in my regimen, which is also the next thing. So, you know, having a regimen, which includes oils, deep conditioning, conditioning, massaging occasionally, you know. That is a part of your regimen. You make sure that you definitely have a good oil, something that your hair loves. You don't want to keep trying an oil that's not working for you. Or, you know, people say it works and you haven't seen anything, any results with your hair. If it's not working, you'll know it's not working. So, 
you know, your hair, your hair has a a mind of its own, but at the same time, it's a part of you. So you know what your hair does and does not like. If you wash your hair and it feels brittle, that's probably something that you need to change. If you put an oil in your hair, you just feel like you just know that you know it's sitting on the top of your hair. That's probably something that you need to change. And just sticking to it, you know. If you find a product that you love, like I did, I found my yell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna make sure that I, uh, I use those products in the right order, as well as using it on a schedule, in a sense. Like I may not use it if I'm not, if I don't put a style on my hair. Okay, I'll do it every week. But if I put a style on my hair, I know I can do it every two weeks. I don't have to continuously wash my hair because my hair doesn't get as dirty with that product. And that's another thing, making sure you don't find a product that weighs down your hair. You know, people use certain products and they're like, oh, I have to wash it every week because it's heavy with product. I'm, I'm not really sure the word, how to explain it, but it has a lot of product in it where, you know, you'll see it by the end of the week or it begins to flake up. If, finally, if you do choose to use a heavier product, just make sure that you wash your hair every, every week at least. And, you know, don't let it kick away and stop because then you have to do a lot of clarifying and deep conditioning and trying to get that product off your hair to use it again. But if you use a lighter product like I do myself with my L, you can wash your hair every two weeks, sometimes like every three weeks, depending on what I do to my hair, the manipulation and where I'm going and how often, you know, I've been around dirt that can get into my hair where I have to wash it. So that is it to my video today. In my little rant about the do's and the don'ts, my personal opinion, I'm not a professional, so these are just tips that you can consider, and if it works for you, I love it, because I love to help others. If you like these chit chats for Nappy, let me know down in the comments some other content that you'd like me to discuss, any more topics that you'd love me to discuss. Let me know down below, and make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be here for my next video. Thank you guys for tuning in again. I'll see you next time.